Hey, Struggle Lines, and in this uh, tutorial, I'm going to walk through using control get or yeah, con control get and basically working with lists, um, li like list views, combo boxes. Um, I forget what else, combo box, drop down lists. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to demonstrate all of them, but uh, I, I think it's one of the most powerful, really cool things you can do if you can connect to a given program and see what's actually selected um, and get the options out of it and rip rip data out of it. I, this is coming amazingly handy for me in in some of my work um, before. So I'm, I'm using grep1 here, which is a great tool for searching across files, looking for text. And here is a list view they have. Let me show you here. So I'll drag down here and we can see oh, that that's a, a syslist view, which is great. So I'm going to do control get. Um, and this one, well, I'll put var. So we're going to put var there. That's where we're dumping it into. The command is going to be list. Um, and then this is so the value. So we let's let's first off let's get let's get the let's get the selected. So we'll do selected. Um, and I'm looking down here. These are the these after the first one. These are like the hmm, commands, I suppose. The, um, they, it's called value here, but um, I guess the values. Okay, you can put in there. The control is. I'm not going to try to type this because I suck at typing. And let's actually borrow the grep win from here. So that's the control and the title. And then let's throw this into a message box. Uh, actually, first, let me make sure something is selected. So now one item is selected. This, let's do the smaller one. So item one, let's see if this runs. And it pulls out the text, right, of that data. If we had um, two, let's say the first three things selected, it pulls out each one and it puts in, I believe, the tilde in to um, between each one. So if you wanted to loop over these, you can parse on them. Check out the help file. Um, I'm not getting into the nitty gritty of every command. I'm just giving you the high points and how you can use it and more about the like why you want to use it too. Um, I think this is this is amazing, right? I could go in and see what's selected or I can get the full list. So let's see here. Focus selected, choice count, count selected, count focused, select focus list. Oh, you know what? Maybe if we leave that blank. Let's leave this blank. It probably gets. Oh, my, there it goes. My script was, that's interesting. It, uh, oh, there it goes. It was just a lot of stuff. Um, so it got everything. I'm not sure why that took so long. Let me try and run it again. Yeah, interesting. For some reason, that's taken a long time. Um, I, it, it, what's weird is it doesn't seem to be going beyond that. It, the message box seems to be dumping all in there. But apparently that takes a while to grab it. Um, so that's getting getting everything in there. Um, let's choose only the focused row. So focused, I think if I just change this to focused, this should tell us, let's see, let's have one. Oh, it doesn't like that. Focused, which is only the focused row. Did I, oh, you know what? No, that's, oh, that's, sorry. This is still list and this is focused. So, oh, that's that's interesting. I'm not sure that's different. Focus retrieves only the focus row. If none, why is that returning selected? I would have thought it would return the row number. Um, so maybe I'll need to read up on that. Column here. So here we could say only receive, like let's say it was, um, so call two. Hopefully this will grab. It only, that's interesting. So it grabbed all of the second column. I, hopefully I can combine. So let, let's change that to the third. Right, let's do the first column. It's shorter. First, let's get all of that. And it's going to get every one. And that is quite a big list. Apparently, because um, GUI is, that's the name of the overall thing. Um, let's say, I wonder if I can add here, um, selected. There we go. So let's let's change that to column two. So so that is pulling that right. If I change to this one, it's pulling the next the, that that row. But this this only this column. This is really awesome because you may not want everything in the thing, right? You might want to know just exactly you know what is that one item in that column. So you can just you don't have to go par grab everything and parse it after, right? I, I didn't realize you could 
combine these. Um, let's let's do some other ones. Let's do count. Count is a single number that is the total number of rows in the control. Oh, so that'll okay. That tells us how many row total rows there are. Oops, one too many. Count. This will tell us how many total rows there are. Whoa. Oh, 1502. So my message box is being truncated. Um, it's that's that's a lot of rows, right? Let me see if I can move this a little bit here. Found 2000. Uh, that's interesting. Um, I, I would have thought that, but oh, because it's searching instances. Um, anyway, I would have thought that would have lined up with that number, but um, I think that's that's interesting. Um, count focused. Oh, that's cool. So I can, let's say I have three count focused. What? Save this. Reload. How is that eight? Do I have some? <coughs> count four. Oh, it's still. <coughs> Excuse me. Let me exit. Something seems a little off here. Why is it still just returning th three, unless it's three, four. What's the first one? One, two, it's still, it's count focused. Retrieves the row number. Oh, the row number, I'm sorry. Count, fo that is that is weird to me. It's, um, but it's still, it's the row number. All right, count column retrieves the number of columns. Okay, well, that's obvious. Um, choice. Selected in a list box or come up with choice which means the name of the currently selected. I'm not actually, I don't know what to expect here. I guess it, uh, Yeah, that seems a lot like selected. Um, maybe it's a little different in a list box. Yeah, when you're doing a list box or a combo box, um, those. Let's see if I can do one example quickly. I don't want to go through all of these with them, um, but I, I think those list views are really cool. So font, we'll put in here. Let's get what this one is. Now, so this is a combo box, right? So we got to update this. It's a combo box. And it's the first instance of the combo box, just to help reiterate that. Um, we got to change our back end to be this guy. You know what? Let me duplicate that and comment it out so um, I can share this later and you'll have it. Um, choice. Let's first do... Well, let's just see what this gets us. Save, reload, run. Nothing. Great. What I break? List. Value. This list view HK Notepad. It's reloading. You know, let's try this one instead. Huh? Because I did try this earlier. Um, I don't know if I use this exact one, but it, it did. It did work fine. Can it this list view? Oh, wait a minute. That's the value. That's I put that in the wrong spot. No. No, I didn't. Value should be blank. Maybe it's not list. Let, no, list. List box. List view. List. Yeah, that should be fine. Let, you know, let's... um. Oh, let's get... um. Selected. Still not connecting to it. Let's go back to this one. This is where just, you know, you end up troubleshooting stuff. There's some little typo somewhere probably where I messed something up. Assist list view. Oh! How did I do that? This, was that not updated before? I, I, I messed something up there. That's that should have been the control. Somehow, maybe the script didn't update. Of course, now it still doesn't work. Come on. Let's drop out selected and see what happens. Oh, come on. Combo box, var, list, notepad. Oh, 
Control get. We'll store it there. The command is list. Should be blink. That's the control. All right, that should be getting. Let me let me. It shouldn't matter, but let me reopen that. Make sure I'm on combo box one. Hey, I'm back. Um, so I I paused the the recording and did actually it took me quite a while to to figure this out. Um, what was going on here? I was trying to 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 come in here and get like this and set this um get get the contents from this combo box. See, it says it says combo L box one, right? Um, which is, I believe, the accurate thing. I checked in several different spy tools, and they all say um, the same thing. This is combo L box one. However. In order to actually get it to work, let's change. So let's change combo box, which one is one. So I'm going to change this to one. And notice there's no, it's like Christmas. There's no L right in here. Okay. So um, when I save this, reload it and run it, it gets all of the, the fonts in that. Again, this is combo L box. When we look it up um, in the tool right now, as you see it right now, I'm going to actually I'm going to talk to Mace Ruth about it. I think what I'm going to do is anytime it says combo L box, I'm going to replace it with combo box because that's the command you need. Um, at least for this one window. I don't know if that's a, a big thing across a lot of different tools. Um, I searched it. It took me quite a while to track it down. I searched it in from my brief understanding is initially it's a combo box and then windows does something else to make it like this list view so there's it's a combo box but you can see the list whereas this one straight up if i actually drag onto it it stays a combo box and it's combo interesting enough this is really fascinating right it says combo box five that's the fifth instance of combo box which means the other four are on this screen which means these are combo boxes so it's not combo l box five right so anyway um that was just ridiculously confusing for me of what in the world was going on. I, I checked some other programs and they didn't have the combo L box, but it's this kind of format where you have the edit up here and then you have these items. And so I just think it's a little bit different. So, um, I'll, by time you get this tool, it'll probably, no matter what, when you drag here to here, um, I think I'm going to change it to say, that's actually going to say combo box because, I don't want anyone going through the headache I just went through for doing that. Um, but back into the thing. So here's the list of items in there. Um, that was from the combo box. That's the list, I think right here. Let's see, is it here? Let's get, um, oh, choice looks interesting. Choice, reload. No, was it selected then? Uh, let me make sure, yeah. Um, all right, let's, uh, I had got rid of all my other stuff, so let me bring over my um, choice, which is the name of the currently selected entry in a list box or combo box, so choice. Did I, I tried that. Let me make sure I'm on here. Oh, not there. On here, combo box one. Interesting, so it doesn't seem like that is actually getting uh choice let's try and i tried selected right um let's try focused you know what i got one other idea let's let's go back to combo box five which truly still is um the combo box and let's see what that says so it's just, just pulling back everything list items restoring in there using list getting focused let's try choice interesting so for whatever reason it's not pulling back like it's saying it should pull back that item right of which one it is so if it's not selected focused yeah i don't know um, but we're still able to get the list which is pretty cool uh, I would have thought that we could be able to get the exact thing that is selected, or maybe the count. I don't know if count. Um, oh, hey. How'd I get over there?
Boy, that just does not seem to have any effect whatsoever, does it? You know, maybe... Let me look at the... Let me pull up the help on this and make sure I'm in the right spot that I'm adding. It's not under something else other than list. So we go to subcommands and in list, that's where we're here. List view. These are for list view, I believe. And then somewhere I thought there was a little bit more about combo box. Oh, interesting. Find string. Choose the entry number of a list box or a combo box. Find string. This is exact match. Choice. Retrieves the name of the currently selected entry in a list box. Choice. So let's borrow this. Make sure I bring it all in here and don't mess something up. Um, so the output, that's right. Oh, no, no. Oh, this is, this is supposed to be choice here. It's not a parameter. Okay. So let's try this. There we go. All right. Um, my bad. I just didn't go back and read the documentation. So, oh, that's the wrong one. Where's my notepad? Here we go. So that was Baltic, um, Turkish, right? Now it's getting what's selected. So even though it's a, uh, combo box, it's getting what item is. So actually, I'm curious if I run it right now with that no, it, it, it apparently it needs to be, you know, finished, have been selected. Um, it's interesting, it's actually triggering the, when, when we run that, when it connects to it, it's triggering the let go, letting go of that. I, I guess, yeah, yeah, that makes sense. So, anyway, that's those are some cool things with getting the controls, and then, then we're going to go back in here and set some of them here in a bit. Thanks.